Hello all, welcome to the like part A of lecture 11. So today I'm going to start logistic regression. So logistic regression mo model is used to model the probability of binary class of event. For example, if a student would pass or fail, if a player will win a tennis match or lose a tennis match, if a patient will be still alive by the end of the year or she or he will pass away before the end of the year, if a patient will be healthy or sick. Suppose you are an analyst in a bank and you want to help the management to build a model to predict whether a loan applicant will be bad creditor in the future. So you look into the historical data D of N existing customer in bank's book. So Y1 X1 is um, information about the first customer. Y2 X2 is the information about the second customer. Yn Xn is the information about the nth customer. Where Yi equal to 1 means it was bad loan. That means the loan was given and the customer did not return the money with interest on time. 0 means it's a good loan. So that means loan was given and customer returned the money with interest on time. So Xi is Xi1, Xi2, Xip which are covariates of or predictors of or feature of the ith customer in the bank's book. Now feature could be you know this could be education, this could be age, this could be if a previous loan, if the customer has any previous loan, etc, etc. So all these information bank do ask for. Now, given this setup, there are two kind of questions you will be looking for. First question, which covariate has impact on the yi? So which covariate has impact or has an effect on deciding whether the it's a good loan is going to be a good loan or a bad loan this kind of questions typically fall in the category of statistical inference and the second kind of question you will be interested in for new loan applicant given a x naught what is the probability of y not equal to 1? y not equal to 1 means it is going to be a bad loan. What is the probability? So it's a prediction problem. You want to predict what is the probability that a new customer will be turn out to be a bad customer based on all these features that is being provided based on the financial status of the customer maybe last few years of IT return statement, maybe what is the education level, etc, etc. Based on that, you want to predict whether the customer will default or not. So this will be belong to prediction problem. Now, in order to model this, we will bring the concept of latent variable. So we are defining y i equal to 1 if it is a bad loan and 0 if it is a good loan. We can also define it as y equal to 1 if z i is greater than or equal to 0 and 0 if z i is negative or less than 0. 
ZI is some unobserved latent score. Okay, sometimes ZI is also known as potential score. Potential score. Now I can model this ZI as XI transpose. ZI is unobserved, remember that, but still I can model it as xi transpose z equal to xi transpose beta plus epsilon i it looks like a linear regression kind of model linear regression kind of model however my zi is completely unobserved so i cannot really fit we cannot really fit linear regression so we cannot we cannot really fit a linear regression. So, but what we want to model is probability y equal to 1. That will be same as probability zi greater than 0. Why? Because if you go up, so what is yi equal to 1? Your yi equal to 1 is zi greater than 0, same as zi greater than 0. So I can say probability of yi equal to 1 is same as probability zi greater than 0. Now what is zi? zi is xi transpose beta plus epsilon i. Okay. So that means I can replace zi by xi transpose beta plus epsilon i greater than or equal to 0. Now I can write it as epsilon i is greater than or equal to minus xi transpose beta. This is same as probability of epsilon i less than strictly less than xi transpose beta. I am assuming that epsilon i is some residual so it will have some distribution f with expectation of epsilon i equal to 0. So it will be some bell shaped distribution with mean at 0. Now if you assume, if you assume that epsilon i is normal 0, 1, then the model is known as probit model or logistic regression with probit link. So because probability of y equal to 1, you can write it as F probability epsilon i less than xi transpose beta, which is same as integration minus infinity to x transpose beta phi epsilon i d epsilon i. Now what is phi? Phi is the simple PDF of standard normal distribution. PDF of standard standard normal distribution and this is capital phi of xi transpose beta so this is cdf of standard standard normal distribution cumulative distribution function cdf of standard normal distribution okay Now on the other hand, instead of assuming epsilon i follow normal, if you assume epsilon i follow normal 0, 1, if you assume epsilon i follow normal 0, 1, then it is known as logit model or logistic regression with logit link. Now the interesting thing is for logistic distribution logistic 0 1 distribution we know the cdf exactly the cumulative distribution function is analytical form is known so for normal distribution the analytical form is not known this analytical form is not known but so we have to resort to some kind of uh, the you know computational ability through r or python but for logistic distribution, the analytical form is exactly known 
and we can model probability y equal to 1 or uh, equal to probability epsilon i less than xi transpose beta is exactly e to the power xi transpose beta by 1 plus e to the power xi transpose beta. This is the exact CDF of logistic logistic distribution. So this is optimum time called logit model or logistic regression with logit link. So now we have logistic regression with two variation one is logistic regression with logit link and logistic regression with probit link. Now natural question is how we estimate the beta. So if you see these two model if you see these two model you will see that effectively all you need to know that how can I estimate if we know the value of betas then all I have to do I have to just plug in the x size if I can plug in the x size it will give me the phi transpose x phi transpose beta or log of p over 1 minus p and from there we can estimate the p that is what we want to estimate what is p p is probability that y i equal to 1 y equal to 1 that is what we want to estimate but we have to estimate beta. So that I am going to discuss that how to estimate beta that I am going to discuss in the next video. But before I end this video you may ask me another question that what about using any other distribution. So here we are assuming two distribution epsilon can follow either logistic distribution or it can follow normal distribution. Of course you can assume other distribution like Cauchy distribution and that will give you Cauchy link and other links are also available. However, like extreme value link with through extreme value distribution. However, uh, these two link logit link and probit link these two links are most popular in any typical textbook these are the two mod link functions you will see. So I am providing I am just for in the theoretical class I am just providing you these two link but uh, you can have you can use any other link function that you want. Um, sometimes logit link is also known as the sigmoid function. Uh, so in some of the machine learning uh, sigmoid function sometimes it's called softmax function also softmax function also then in machine learning typically they are either called sigmoid or softmax softmax is when you have multinomial kind of situation uh, we will come to it later multinomial whereas sigmoid function is mostly for the binary situation like the one we are considering. So you can see all these variation in the terminology. So I will stop here in the next video we will discuss how to estimate the uh, coefficient of logistic regression. Thank you very much. See you in the next video.